you struggling with interviews? Well, here are five more interview tips. Let's get into it. One, do your research. As someone who interviews people, I think it's quite obvious when someone has and has not done their research in a company or on a role. The best part is to uh, look up to see if the company has a tech blog, and then you could ask questions around that at the end or during the interview, of course. Uh, But even just doing research around uh, the company itself, the problems they seem to have, the industry, and then targeting questions on that. Two, uh, check expectations and making sure you're on the same page. I find a lot in the testing industry, uh, the words people use can differ or people can have different interpretations of the same word. Uh, So it can be useful to subtly check and align on those expectations and to make sure that you're on the same page. So for example, let's say if you're asked about your experience with Agile, So Agile tends to be like this larger umbrella that covers, you know, Kanban, Scrum. But from what I've found, often when people say, oh, do you have experience with Agile? And can you talk about that? They often are really thinking about Scrum. Not that that's what it should be, but that's often I've seen be the case. Uh, Another thing would be um, talking a bit about test automation. There's often too much focus on UI. So... Um, just checking or kind of clarifying when you talk about your experience there, the experience you have, if it's UI test automation, if it's only API test automation, or maybe if you've used test automation to create test data, because the question that people have in mind when they're asking those things um, could be different to what you're actually answering. Three, uh, this only applies for video interviews. If you're going to have a video interview, check your equipment first. Uh, make sure your camera is working. Make sure your, your sound is working. Uh, often you need to like dial in and then be uh, invited into a room, for example. So just check that you don't need to download an extra um, software or something. I, not This hasn't been for like work interviews, but when I've been interviewed for like, um, for like podcasts, for example, um, I, I go to like join the call from like, say, Google Meets. And then I have to download something else. So then I end up being a little bit late because of that, which is not good. It doesn't make a great first impression if you're a little bit late just because you're not prepared. Uh, I've also been on calls where <clears throat> the person just didn't know how to like use use a camera or they just, I don't know, they were too shy. And it's a lot easier to be face to face and make sure you turn your camera on. It feels weird to be the interviewer and ask, hey, I'm going to turn your camera on. Um, This really should be common sense. So just make sure you do that. Fourth, almost always at the start of an interview, you're going to ask, you're going to be asked a question along the lines of, can you tell me a bit about yourself or um, something like that, right? Uh, Don't just regurgitate uh, what's on your, what's on your CV. And that's because almost always the interviewers, they would have gone through your CV and they may also even have it in front of them. So you're wasting your time and their time by just repeating that. And given that a CV has quite limited space, so you should have been using that wisely anyway, you would be missing, you're probably missing things about yourself uh, in the CV. So then you could use, you could spend your time talking about the things that you think they should know about you that you didn't get the chance or opportunity uh, to add in your CV. And lastly, what I think is the best tip, is to remember that they want you to succeed. So the interviewers aren't trying to catch you out. Um, They have had to take time off from their day to to meet you. And they they want to find the right person so they can stop. Um, Yeah, so so they uh, get to start getting value from you. Now, using this knowledge, there are some things you could do. And, And the key one here is that If you are asked a question and you feel that you didn't quite tackle it right because maybe you got too nervous or maybe you realized you started rambling and then the the clear ideas you had in your head just didn't quite come out and you see this confused look at your interviewers, you could ask to start over and say, oh, actually, I would like to just try tackling that question again. I'm just going to start over. You, You should be fine to do so to make sure that you are presenting your best case as to why you should be chosen for the role. 
Um, you could also circle back. So if you realize later during the interview, so let's say two questions later, while you're answering one question, you realize that a previous one wasn't quite addressed in the way you think it should have been on like, you know, on that reflection, you could then circle back and address that as well. Again, there's no like rule against circling back or starting over. The interviewers want you to succeed. They want you to show them that you are the best person for the role. So just remember that. 